tea. We've got two soup cans today. And <laughs> yes, and eventually we will eat soup. Um, just not in class today. But um, two soup cans. I use a pillow if you want to grab a pillow. I like to use a dense pillow like one you might have on uh, your couch or something that just holds shape a little bit more than a uh, than a bed pillow. pillow. And, yes. and we'll just start seated and allow yourself to just take a second and check in. Notice your body this morning any sensations that might be coming up, places that might be holding on to extra tension, your jaw, your neck, your shoulders. And then just checking in with where you're placing the weight. So make sure you're right on those sits bones. Finding the full length of your spine here. Energy out the top of the head. Full width of the collarbone. Good. All right, so let's take one hand to the mat and reach the other arm up and over. Just getting a little leak down the side body. And then other side, reaching, opening up the side body. And again. And we'll kind of pick up the pace a little bit and let it rock. Side to side. Just inviting a little movement in, a little more in the breath. Good, one more. And then back to the center, just placing the hands to the legs, sitting tall. Nod the chin towards the chest. And then look up to the ceiling. Keep the mouth closed. And look center. Look over the right shoulder. Sit over the left. And center. And then we take ear to shoulder. And then other side. Just giving a little extra attention to the neck this morning. And then nice and tall. Good. Full breath in, reach the arms up. Full exhale open. Again, full inhale up. Full exhale open. Great. Feet go out in front of you. Hip distance apart, parallel. Taking those hands, grab onto the back of the thigh. Sit really tall through the spine. Lift and lengthen. Inhale tall, exhale tuck the tail. Round back. Find that scoop, find those abdominals engaging. And then inhale nice and tall again. And then exhale tuck and round. Inhale lift and lengthen. Exhale, tuck and round. Just warming up that feeling of engaging the deep abdominals. Inhale, nice and tall. Two more. Exhale, tuck and round. Inhale, lift and lengthen. One more. And inhale, nice and tall. Good. Soles of the feet come together. Take a little fold forward. Release the neck. Checking in, noticing where you might be holding on this morning. Rolling up, really good. Okay, so we're gonna come to the mat. We're gonna grab that little pillow here. So just taking your time getting to the mat this morning. If you're not using a pillow, you can just lay flat there. If you are using a pillow, find it in a place where it gives you some support and helps you open up your front body just a little more. Inhale the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, root the shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale, reach the arms back. 
Inhale. Exhale, float the arms up, lift the head, curling up, reaching through the fingers, opening across the chest. Grab onto the back of the thighs, pull yourself up another inch, pull that belly button in, reach through the fingers, and rest. Head goes back, arms go up. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, curl up. Scooping and breathing, grabbing the thighs, pulling yourself up another inch. So you want to really feel like you're hugging your belly button into your spine to carve out those deep abdominals. Inhale, reach. Exhale, rest. One more like this. Inhale. Exhale, curl. Scoop. Grab those thighs. Pull yourself up a little higher. Breathe. Full breath. Hug in deep. Inhale, reach the arms forward. And exhale, rest it back, good. Full breath here. Exhale, coming up about halfway, reaching through the fingers, energize those arms. Take that right leg up to tabletop. So you wanna feel like your shin is pretty much parallel with the floor. And then bring your left leg up to meet it. Squeeze the feet together. Find a position here that you feel like you can maintain. You can always place the feet down if you need to. Reach through the fingers, pump the arms for the hundred. Inhale, three, four, five. Exhale, three, four, ten. In. Open up the chest for twenty. In, two, three, four, five. Exhale, exhale, thirty. In. Forty. Fifty. 60. Belly button in, inhale. 80. 90. All the air out. Grab the thighs, pull yourself up another inch. Extend the legs. So making your transition here into the roll up. The legs and head float down, the arms float up. Full inhale, exhale, roll the spine up. Curl, scoop, breathe, reach to the toes, roll it down. Take your time. So right here, it's about articulating the spine, working those deep abdominals to help get into that articulation. So it's not about speed. It's not about how many you do. It's really about working deep in the form. <sighs> Scooping the belly button in. Don't forget about the placement of the shoulders. Try to keep the chest open. Breathing. <sighs> Rooting those shoulders back. Two more. <sighs> Scooping. Peeling. Reaching. Rolling down. One more. Reach for the toes. Take an extra breath or two here. Flex and point through the feet. Soften. Good. So if you've got your pillow, move it out of the way. And we'll reach towards the toes again. And then tuck and roll it down. Right leg floats to the ceiling. Single leg circles. So right here, feel your back body root and then take the leg across to the left, and then down, around, scoop and lift. Cross, down, around, lift. Breathe. Two more. One more. Reverse. Good, breathe. Three more. Two. One, hug that knee into your chest. As you slide that right leg long, float the left leg up to the ceiling. Breathe here, open the chest, root your back body. Take that leg to the right, cross, down around, lift. Breathe, pull the navel to the spine. Three, two, open chest. One, feel that little puff up in your sternum. 
reverse, open, down, cross, lift, breathe, active arms, three, and two, one, and lift, hug that knee into your chest, both knees hug in, rock yourself up to a seated position, right into rolling like a ball, so we scoot down towards the heels, you want to find a curved position with the back and the feet lifted off the mat. So it's up to you where your hands are. You can grab your legs on your shins or you could grab at the back of the thighs, whatever works for you. Inhale, roll it back. Exhale, roll it up. Stabilize at the top. Inhale back. Exhale up. Inhale back. Exhale up, inhale, belly button in, exhale, scoop. Just two more, right through the center of the spine. One more, all the way up. Feet go down, soles of the feet come together, take a little pull forward, full breath there. Nice. Okay, so the first in our circuit is going to start with the series of five. If uh, you need to rest your head during this series, you always can. So listening to your body is important. So let's lay down to your mat. The series of five is an abdominal series, so that's really where we want to feel these. So if you start to feel your neck, put your head down. If you start to feel your low back, always rest. Okay, let's bring both knees into the chest. Right hand to the right ankle, left hand to the right knee. Lift the head and extend that left leg long. Pull the belly button in. That's one, switch the legs. Left hand to the left ankle, one. Switch, two and two. Breathe, three, three. Up a little higher, four, four. Navel to spine, five. Five, reach, six, six, seven, open the chest, and eight, eight, nine, sink that belly button, ten, ten, bring both knees in, rest the head, curling up again, hands are at the ankles, inhale, arms and legs reach out, open, exhale, bring it in. Inhale, reach, open, exhale, bring it in. Keep breathing, open, keep sinking that belly button. Try not to shorten in the low back during this exercise. Keep the low back long. Two more, one more, and rest, good. Yeah, uh -huh, you can, good. Nice. Third in your series, head lifts, right leg up, left leg 45 degrees, two pulls on the right leg, pull, pull, kick, switch, pull, pull, kick, right, right, kick, left, left, breathe, right, right, left, left, navel in, left, left, right, right, kick, left, left, really kick strong, deep abdominals, hugging in, right, right, left, left, one more set. Rest. Good. All right. So fourth in your series of five, we're going to take the hands to the back of the thighs, lift your head, and extend your legs up to the ceiling. So we're going to use the arms here to create a little resistance. So your elbows are wide and your biceps are engaged. Your belly button is in. Press your legs into your hands. Straighten your arms. Then pull heavy legs up, 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 lower, belly button pulls in, lift, 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 lower, and lift, two more, lower, and lift, one more, lower, scoop, and lift, rest, breathe. Last in your series, hands stacked behind the head. Curl up, left elbow to your right knee. Extend your left leg long. One, switch, 
one, get up there off those shoulder blades, two, switch, two, breathe, try not to rock the pelvis around, keep it stable, four, four, breathe, five, five, belly button to spine, six, six, two more sets, seven, seven, one more set, eight, rest, cross those ankles, come right up to seated, flip over to your modified plank position. So we're moving on in this first in the circuit, your hands go underneath your shoulders, your knees go underneath your hips. Really find width in the collarbone and length in the spine. Try not to dome up in the upper back. Tuck the toes. Lift the knees two inches off the mat. Hold. Find your deep abdominals here to support the position. The feet go out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Three more. Breathe. Root your shoulders. Navel to your spine. Two more. Out, out, in, in. One more set. And in, in. Stay here. We bring the elbow and the knee together. So knee to the elbow. Pull right side. And left side. And right. And left. Breathe. Three. And three. Root those shoulders. Four. Four. One more set. Five. Five. You're going to shoot that left leg back. Right leg to meet it, finding your plank position. Hold for three, two, one. Put the knees down, cross at the ankles. So we're doing push-ups here. You could always just hold a plank position. Hands go a little wider than they were. And we bend the elbows. 10, elbows go wide. Nine, eight, seven, Breathe, six, and five. Belly button in, four, three. Keep breathing, one more. And sit your hips onto your heels, rounding your spine. Breathe. Sounds good to me, baby. Good. Thank you, Sourcey. Okay, so let's make our transition to standing. So that's your first in your circuit. There's three today. So that one's the series of five circuit. Tuck your toes, hips go up, heels go down. Walk those hands back. Take a little stretch, soften your knees, and roll it up. Good, okay, so let's take the feet wide on your mat. And allow yourself to check in with that pinky toe border of the foot. You want to make sure you've got it rooted all the way down. Big toe and the heels. So we're going to shift the weight right to left and find a deep bend in the knee. So we'll start with the hands at the thigh. So you bend that right knee, shift your weight into your heels and reach back through your glutes. That's one. Switch left one. You can keep your hands right here or reach the arms. Three and three. Four and four. Get your belly button in. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. And eight. And nine. And 10, you're gonna stay in the deep squat. Take the hands to the thighs, little pulse down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way up, good. Okay, so you bend into the right knee and you push off of that right leg, coming to a posse. So the right foot comes up. Find that little balance. Take it back out. Push up and out. The chest moves up 
and forward. Four. And five. And six. Let's move the arms here. And seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Then you bend the left knee. We push off of the left foot. Weight in the heels. Here we go. Bring it up. Ten. Nine. Breathe. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Keep breathing. Four. Three. Two more. And one. Finish. Come back to wide legs. Go into turnout. Reach the arms wide. Ten deep plies. Ten. And up. Nine. Up. Breathe. Eight. Push into the floor. Seven. Six. Shoulders drop. Five. Four. Get taller. Three. And two. Down and hold. Pulse. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All the way up. Good. Okay. So that's the second in your little circuit. So it's the lunge circuit. Okay. Now we grab your soup cans for an arm weight series. And we're going to do this down on your mat. So take a seat, crisscross legs, and we'll take arms out wide to your sides. So you've got your cans in your hands, your shoulders are down. Take an inhale, get tall. Exhale, hug a tree. And open. Exhale, hug. Inhale, open. And hug. Shoulders stay open. So you want to feel the width in your chest here. Three more. And two. And one. And then the hands go behind the head. We pinch the body forward. So you want to feel like you're leaning forward of your sits bones and press those cans up and pull them down. Press and pull. Press. Eight of these. Breathe. Four more. Navel to your spine. And three. And two. And one. Open the arms wide. Get tall, tiny circles. Five, four, three, two, one. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. The arms come down. Palms are facing down here. Keep your cans. Lift them up on the diagonal. Lift and bring it down. Use resistance like the cans weigh 50 pounds. Lift it up. Press. And lift. And press. Lift. Three more. Lift. And two. And one. And lower. Good. Put those cans down for a second. Come to your knees. So we're taking a little bit of triceps here. So you're grabbing those cans. We're going to lean the body forward. I'll do this sideways so you can see. So start straight up, bend the elbows, then pitch the body forward, hug your belly button in, squeeze those elbows in tight, press it back, 10, and 9, open the chest, 8, belly button to your spine, 7, and 6, and 5, so you can always do these without cans and just use that 
isometric tension. Two more here. Back and hold, pulse it up. Five, four, three, two, one, and bring it up. Good, okay, so that's your first circuit, okay? You're all the way through all three of them, okay? I'm gonna get a sippy. And then we'll go back to your mat for the series of five, okay? So, finding, again, your body, back body on your mat, let gravity pull your head back and pull your pelvis into the mat. Full breath. Bring the knees into the chest. Lift the head, right hand, right ankle, left hand, right knee, left leg extends. One, switch, one, switch, two, up a little higher, two, three, Three, hug that belly button in for four, five, breathe, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, the knees come in, rest. Always look right and left, soften the neck, do what you need to do here. Second in your series, head lifts. Hands to the ankles. Inhale, reach along. Open. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, reach. Open. Exhale, in. Open. Exhale, in. Inhale, reach. Open. Exhale, in. Again. Two more. One more. Rest, breathe. Softening, always remembering if your low back takes over, rest. Lift the head, right leg up, left leg out, two pulls, right, right, kick, left, left, kick, right, right, left, left, breathe, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. left. Open the chest, navel in, kick it strong. And right, right, left, left, one more set. Relax, breathe. Fourth in your series, hands behind the thighs, legs up, head up. Lower the legs, lengthen the arms. Lift the legs, pull deep abdominals. So your arms and legs are in a battle here. Always using that resistance. Just two more. Scoop that belly button in. One more. Rest. Last in your series, hands behind the head, curl up. Left elbow to your right knee, extend the left leg. One, one, switch, two, two, breathe, three. Up a little higher, four, five. Try to look back over the elbow, six, seven, one more set, rest. Cross at the ankles, rock yourself up, flip to your modified plank position. Hands under the knees, or sorry, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, tuck the toes, breathe, root those shoulders back, lift the knees two inches, hold here. Walk it back, out, out, in, in, out, out, in. Create length in your spine. Create width in your collarbone. Two more sets. Navel in. One more set. Stay in. Knee to the elbow. Five. Five. Four. Four. Long neck. Three. Try to widen that collarbone. Two. Two. One. The left leg shoots back. Find your plank. Hold. 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 Knees go down. Cross the ankles. Widen the hands. Push-ups. Breathe. Ten. Nine. Eight. Belly button to spine. Six. Long neck. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Uncross the ankles. Sit 
the hips to the heels, breathe. So your first and your second round, you're through it. All right, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, tuck the toes, tips up, heels down, walk the hands to the feet, and roll it up. Good. Okay, here we go. Wide legs. Find a position you can maintain, but you feel like you're you're reaching for your edge. You're finding finding some more range. All right. So you can hands to the thighs. You could do all of this with your body upright, or you can lean your body, get that heart rate up, and reach the arms. It's up to you. So always modify as you need to. Here we go. To the right. Reach and left. Two and reach. Really bend the knee. Reach through the sits bones. Three. Weight in the heels. Four. Four. Five. Navel to your spine. Six. Reach. Seven. Reach. Eight. Nine. Ten. Come center. Deep squat, 10, 9, open the chest, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go right into it. So shift all your weight over into your right leg, arms pull back. You're coming to the passe. Push off of the right foot, bring it to prop, passe. And 9, and 8, and 7, 6. Breathe. Five. Sit those hips back. And three. And two. One. Hold here. Switch. Left knee is bent. Here we go. Push to passe. Ten. And nine. Eight. Open the chest. Seven. Three. Six. Five, four, lean that body, three, two, one, center. Good. Legs turn out, arms reach wide, ten big plies, here we go. Ten, and nine, lift tall, eight, get taller, seven, reach through the fingers, six, Pinky toe grounded. Five, four, three, two more. Then you got your little squats. Hold for ten, nine, eight, three, seven, six. Lift the chest. Four, three, two, one. All the way up. Good. Very nice. Okay. We grab the little cans. I'm gonna get a sip. Some tea here. Grab your cans. We come to the mat. Okay. Crisscross legs. You can do this whole series on your knees if that feels okay. All right. I'm going to do that for this series, but stay right here if this feels best. That way I don't have to transition for triceps, but it's up to you. Your knees don't love this, don't do it, okay? All right, you can do this whole series standing. It's up to you. Hug your tree. Exhale. Get tall. Use the breath. So your breath is a muscle just like anything else here. You're working it, you're strengthening it. You're trying to deepen it, getting some energy out of that breath. Accessing that energy. Two more. One more. Hands go behind the head. Lean into it. Press. Eight. Seven. Try to keep the shoulders down away from the ears. And five. And four. Breathe. Three. And two. Long neck. Press and hold, open the arms, body comes up, little circle, five, four, 
okay? So it's not necessary to go on. I just like to mix it up. So arms are wide. Lift up. Squeeze the glutes and bring it down. Lift it up. Squeeze the glutes and bring it down. Breathe. Squeeze and down. Squeeze and down. Four more. And down. And three. And two. And one. And rest. So we go to triceps. So if you're standing, you just want to bend the knees and pitch forward. If you're on your knees, just protect them. Do what you need to do. Yeah, to get some tricep work here. So we'll start down here. I'm going to add a little lift of my torso as I press my arms back. So I'm going to keep my body upright to do that. Yeah, I'm going to pitch it forward. All right, here we go. Press and bend. Press and bend. My legs are together. Squeeze your glutes and and press. Five more. Three, four more. And three and two and one. Rest. Good. Okay, you made it. That's two times all the way through. We've got one time all the way, and then we'll cool down and we'll be done. And we're listening to David Byrne, which is always a great way to start the day. Okay, I highly, highly suggest it. Okie dokie. So laying down to your mat, Getting ready for third in your series, for third in your circuit. I'll say that my morning combo that seems to be working the best is David Byrne, Earl Grey Tea, and Pilates. And I don't know if I would have figured that out if it hadn't been for this. So here we are. Okie dokie, silver lining. Knees come into the chest, head lifts, right head, right ankle, left hand, right knee, left leg extends. We're going right through it. One, switch, one, two, pull your belly button in, three, and four. You can keep your hands here or reach through the fingers. And six, and seven, Eight, nine, ten. Bring both knees in. I'm going right to it. Inhale, arms and legs. Open, exhale. Always rest your head if you need to. One more. I'm going right into it. Always rest the head if you need to. Right leg up, left leg out. Two pulls. Kick, left, left, kick, right, right, left, left, right, right, shh, shh, right, right, left, left, keep it strong, hug that belly button in, right, right, left, left, one more set, grab the back of the thighs, pull yourself up, use resistance with the arms, lower, lift, lower, scoop, lift, just three more. Scoop, lift. Two more. Keep it as small as you need to. Shh. One more. Twist. Right. Left. Two. Keep breathing. Three. Belly button again. Four. Five. Shh. Look back over the elbow. Seven. And eight. Rest. Cross the ankles. Rock it up, right into your modified plank. Find it, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, toes tuck, widen the collarbone, root the shoulders, lift the knees, walk it back, back and back. 
back in front. And back in, back in front. For three. Belly button in. And four. And in. And five. Pull the knee to the elbow. Right. And left. And right. And left. Widen your collarbone. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. Left side. Shoot the left leg back. Find your plank. Breathe. Hold. Hold. Knees go down. Cross the ankles. Widen the hands. Push ups. Last set. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Breathe. Six. Five. Four. Three. Squeeze those inner thighs towards each other. Two. One. Rest. Hips to the heels. Hands and knees. Tuck the toes. Hips go up. Heels go down. Walk it back. Roll it up. Okay, your standing series lunges. I'm going to use the cans this time. You don't have to. It's up to you. My labels are getting loose on these cans. I should take them off. But hey, I'm not going to. I'm going to be crazy. <laughs> okay. All right. So you bend your right knee. You reach your left arm across your right arm back. One. Switch. One. Switch. Two. And two. Root down through the pinky toe. Three. Reach your sits bones back. For four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. And eight. Nine. And ten. Stay in the squat. Putting the cans right at the crease in my hips. Pulse ten. Nine. Open the chest. Seven. Six. Reach through the tail. Four, three, two, one, and up. Breathe. Bend your right knee. Take your cans back. Open your chest. Push off of your right leg. Come to passe. Pull those cans in front. So let's go back and up. Back and up. The arms lengthen and bend. Five more on this side. Four. Three. Two, one, right to the other side, and ten, and nine, keep breathing, eight, seven, six, open the chest, push with that foot, three more, two, one, and center. Good. Legs turn out. You're going to reach those cans wide. Plie, close the arms. And open. Nine. Open. Eight. Seven. Push into the floor. Six. Get your pinky toes grounded. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, hold, ten, nine, eight, ground down, heels and pinky toes, four, three, two, one, rest. Good. Okay, we're doing our arm weight series. I'm going to do it standing, uh, just to give you the variation. If you liked it on the floor, then go there. Okay, so feet are parallel, hip distance, arms reach out wide, hug a tree. Get tall, use your abdominals here, breathe. Three more. Two, one, bend the knees, pitch the body forward, hands behind 
the head, shaving, press it up, eight, weight in the heels, seven, long neck, six, breathe, five, four, three, two, press, come up, straight leg, straight arms, little circles, five, four, three, two, one, reverse, five, four, three, two, one, and the arms come down. Good, okay, so your deltoid lifts here, so we're just gonna bend the knees as the arms go up. Here we go, 10, and down, nine, and down, eight, breathe, keep your body upright, seven, Lift the chest. Four more. Drop those shoulders. Three. And two. And one. And rest. Good. So I'm going to do the chair sit for triceps. It's up to you where you do them. If you're doing chair sit, feet are together. Legs are together. Bend the knees, rock the weight into the heels. Really find how you can sit the pelvis back, flex those pinky toes and all, all the toes off the mat. Elbows lift, press it back. 10, belly button in. Nine, open the chest. And seven, six, breathe, five, open the collarbone. Three, all the way to straight arms each time. Little pulse back. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll forward. Roll up and rest. Good. So we're already standing. Let's stay standing for a little cool down. Just a little sippy. Okay. I'm always just surprised by how much, you know, A, I'm getting stronger. So I notice, you know, I notice my body. That's not a surprise, the getting stronger part. The, the part that's surprising is how, you know, our bodies, we can find our edge. And so I could do the same exercise you know, six weeks ago, and it was hard, I've gotten stronger, I can still do the same exercise, but I can find my edge and I can work past that edge. Find the resistance, find how to use the breath, whatever it is. So it's such a cool thing with these body weight workouts where, you know, you don't need a whole bunch of equipment to really work your body, okay? So just keep that in mind. You don't need anything except this body right here and just some, some will to do and then we're good, all right? So stand tall in your bones, whatever that means right now. So finding how you can center the weight, heels and toes, big toes and pinky toes, pelvis right on top, of those feet, ankles, shoulders on top of that, head on top of that, find your breath, now try to find your natural breath pattern so you're not over efforting the breath, just what you need right now. Breathe. David Burns thinking about being lazy. So awesome. <laughs> Take your hands to your belly. And spread the fingers out wide. So you've got both hands on there. Don't stack them. And try to expand your belly as you inhale. Pull it in on the exhale. On your 
chest. Same thing. A rise and fall of the chest. Great. That's you listening to your body and then reach out and maybe I have an answer. Okay, so uh, I hope you have uh, a good day and I will be at this again tomorrow morning. So I will see you then. Bye bye.